Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we got another gallery diorama from Diamond Select Toys. Checking out the box art, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, PVC diorama. Looking through that window, you can see the figures loaded with details. As you move around to the back, you got a short bio about the figure, the last turtle to survive post-apocalyptic New York City. It's based on his appearance in the miniseries, The Last Ronin, designed by David Forrest, sculpted by Alex Belov, both from Kinetic Underground. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. So first impressions, this piece looks excellent. Great job on the sculpting. Paint looks really good as well. These gallery dioramas keep getting better and better. So starting with the base, you can see you got all this rubble down there. You got the Casey Jones mask busted up. Really nice sculpting with the base, the way you have these nice large chunks and you got other areas with small rubble. Towards the back here where the pipe is, you have like this glossy stripe where it looks like maybe water's been running through the area. Parts of that rubble look kind of wet. Nice touch with that. The paint job on the bottom looks pretty good. You got some lighter grays and some darker grays. And as you move up, you got the last Ronin lunging forward. Nice details in the sculpting on the feet and the sandals. You can see the stitching in those leather sandals. As you move up, you got his calf area wrapped in fabric, a knee pad on one leg. You got this like metal piece of armor on the other knee. It's got little kinks and battle damage there. And moving up into the turtle, he's loaded with details. There's multiple layers of fabric. They're all sculpted really well. You got all the bends and folds, horn edges on the bottom. You can tell he's been through some damage. The utility belt has all kinds of details. He's got small knives along with all these pouches painted and sculpted really well. As you move around to the back, you got all his brother's weapons. You can see Donnie's staff, Leo's katana, Raphael's Sai tucked in there. And if you didn't know, this is Mikey. He's got his nunchucks stashed in there as well. There's a little hook back there. All these weapons have a great level of sculpt and paint. And moving further up, you can see both arms wielding these kind of night sticks. The padding along his forearms and the shoulders look really good. Sculpted well, painted really well. He's got goggles kind of hanging off his neck. And then check out that portrait. You got his eyes glaring, his teeth kind of peeking out. You can see scarring on his face. The paint on that portrait also really good. It's not just one color, you got subtle shifts in the paint. And they did a great job making him look kind of worn and busted up. Another great gallery diorama from Diamond Select Toys. This last Ronin PVC statue of Michelangelo, the last Ronin, is fantastic. Great presence. Add in that Casey Jones mask. It's a really nice touch. Ton of detail in the sculpt with all the battle damage. The paint also delivers really well. It retails for 75 bucks from Diamond Select Toys. If you want to add this to your collection, as always, check for links in our description. They've also got a set of all four turtles in the gallery diorama line that look really good. We're hoping to pick those up and if we do, we'll be sure to do unboxing videos. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Fine tip, Creative Studio.